Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today we are reviewing the LEGO Ideas Steamboat Willy set sent over to us from LEGO. So thanks a lot guys for sending this set to us to do a review. This is both an Ideas set as well as a Disney set, obviously. We've got Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and this was not filmed in black and white but everything here is in black and white and also silver, just a little bit. I wonder if that's a nod to maybe silver being used in original film. I'm not totally sure. Or perhaps the designers, I think, just enjoyed changing things up a little bit um, instead of being forced to be purely black and white. Silver probably fit pretty well in their color scheme. So let's check out the minifigs first. So it looks like I've settled on Minnie Mouse first. She's got a lot of nice detailing. Actually, let's take the guitar out of her hands. And here you will see that all of the molds from the uh, collectible minifigure series, I believe are the same, including the hat, though she has been recolored. I really like the uh, silver there. And she has dual molded legs. See if I can bend the legs back a little bit. Yeah, dual molded legs with just a little bit of print to show the edge of the sock or stocking there. So very, very nice looking fig. And I think she looks very, very complete with her guitar. Can I rest it on the shoulder? Can I do it? Nope. Mickey Mouse has no printing on his torso, uh, but you can see the dual molded legs. And what's interesting here is that the legs are dual molded uh, and you can see they're done with the kind of flat silver, but then they've added the more chromey or shiny silver printing onto the sides of the legs and the sides of the feet all the way down, completely finishing off the toes. Uh, that's actually the same for Minnie Mouse, and I'm not sure if they've completely printed the sides, just a complete solid color through like that uh, before on a minifigure. I'm not totally sure if that's happened. If it has, please let me know if they've actually just done a complete wash before on the, on the bottoms of the feet and the toes for just a solid color. So I think that is kind of a new technique, or at least they haven't employed the technique like that before. Uh, it says, Turkey in the Straw, that's the name of that little song, perhaps that he whistles. And there is another goat that I think is from the same uh, little film or possibly in another uh, Disney film from the same era. So anyways, there's Mickey, there's Minnie, and I keep on knocking these guys, I keep on knocking these guys over. Uh, and we've got our last little character. This is uh, Mickey's parrot, also seen, very nice. I haven't, I can't tell if this is a uh, re, if this is a mold that has come from maybe a friend set or something, but uh, nice coloration for sure. And let's move on to the set. And if I didn't mention before, this set is 751 pieces. It sells for $89.99 US dollars or Euro, $79.99 in pounds and 120 for Canadian dollars and 130 for Australian dollars. So that's the basic part breakdown. I have a feeling that's pretty much, pretty much a decent or expected price for what you're getting in terms of bricks and in terms of uh, you know, minifigs and everything. And what I'm very, very happy about and what you can see here is that there's actual functions. In fact, two functions that work simultaneously when you push this thing along the ground. So you can see there's wheels. There's actually a lot of colors on the inside of this ship, which is nice, which is nice because, uh, you know, it looks very black and white. I, I, could, I could snap my fingers and, uh, you know, I don't know how much of a difference you can tell with this thing being black and white or not. Anyways, so this thing, uh, it does have a lot of colors on the inside. I think that makes it easier to build. And also maybe I think, you know, it's just, you do want to have some other colors in case you bought this set and wanted to part it down and use it for other things. You have options of having different colors on the inside. So tons of studs. Let me turn the light down a little bit. Tons of studs are on the deck. You can move minifigures just about anywhere you want. This little parrot, where did I put him? Oh, he's uh, back here, but you can have him up on this little post there. And uh, yeah, in fact, you know what? Let me see if I can just rip this off the top. It's pretty easy to get this function to work. So I actually don't feel bad about just breaking the entire set open to show you guys. I think I moved one little piece. There we go. That one little bit popped up. But this is uh, to give you guys an idea of what the inside looks like. 
So A, so happy that the function works well enough that uh, you can just you can just rip the whole top off. You're not really supposed to, but um, such an easy kind of teeter-totter function with a few little gears here. There's a little uh, drivetrain that kind of connects the, uh, the, I don't even know what those, this is called for this type of old steamboat that has these kind of, uh, it's almost like a windmill, but it's propellers, just a ton of propellers that go on either side of the thing here. And yeah, you can just pop the whole thing back on. These things just rest loose. And then you can pop the whole thing back on and the uh, two steam stacks, not smoke stacks, uh, come out the top and they pop up and down. It's great. There's a little crane here in the back that can also function as well. This thing you can attach to it, it is a potato bin and that is a little print and you can put the potato bin. This is like the hardest thing to do in Lego. There you go, okay. You can put the potato bin in there. You can also ratchet this joint out so it can lean over the edge of the boat and pick up or drop off potatoes because I guess that's what people were shipping up and down uh, the river back in the day. Here is a better look at the back. We've got a few little boxes here with jumpers on top. Kind of reminds me of how Minecraft is set up. You can move them onto different parts of the deck. There's also a pot and a pan as well as a little hammer that you can use as tools. And this door doesn't actually open, but that would I think normally uh, lead to the engine room if I had to take a guess. By the way, this SS Willy print is in silver, which is wonderful. And the also 1928, which is, I believe the air date of when this uh, original cartoon came out. Here's what it looks like from the front. You can also fit Mickey Mouse and or Minnie Mouse in there. The roof comes off, it studs off. You have a life preserver on either side. Uh, yeah, and I think that's also a bell for ringing right there. I just dropped something. Now there you go, you've got Mickey in the driver's seat. It doesn't look quite as iconic, of course, as him spinning the wheel uh, from the actual scene, but you can fit him inside, and that's, and that's what counts. In fact, if I lower the camera down just a little bit, maybe get a little bit more eye level, you can see him in there looking pretty decent. Yeah, there you go. Mickey on the inside. All right, now here is just another look at the functions of this ship. You really don't have to push it too fast in order for it to work pretty well. In fact, I think pushing it nice and slow is really the optimal route. When you go really fast, the uh, this thing doesn't look so fluid. And we also have the paddling just going at such a rapid speed. You know, it's not, it's not what it's supposed to be, but I suppose you can supercharge this and really just kind of mess it around as, as much as you like. There's so much traction on the bottom, which is nice. You're not gonna have any of that uh, skipping, you know, like on some uh, play sets where you push the wheel and maybe it's not heavy enough or the friction isn't enough for some of the wheels to spin properly. Not the case for this set. Uh, every little bit of friction is uh, grabbing onto the ground here. I'm sure it would stick to any surface. And in fact, it sticks so well, it's kind of hard to turn. I'm really like really pushing it. Uh, it really does grip the ground actually quite well. So I'm glad to say that the function works well. I don't even know if you can call it a play function. I suppose you could, uh, but this is more of just kind of a, a fun extra add-on that the designers uh, put in there because essentially uh, without it moving around at all, this really would be a 100% display set. Uh, not like this isn't really uh, made for display at all. In fact, they did include this. I forgot to show this off earlier. It's still got another one of those 1928 prints and Mickey Mouse's head or the Disney logo essentially. Uh, yeah, you can kind of have that out there with the two figs off to the side if you wanted to display this a little bit more open, I suppose. And um, as far as I can tell, that's everything I'm gonna talk about the set, but there are a few other things that I think are worth taking a closer look at. Uh, Idea Sets always does have, I feel like a slightly higher quality presentation, and this is no different. And uh, the first page is all about Steamboat Willie, the actual cartoon with some of the original pictures, some of the concept art, and then about the designers, the original designer for our ideas that is uh, Mate, uh, I don't know how to pronounce, sorry. Uh, and then the other two designers from Lego that really, uh, I think, knocked this into another gear by adding functions 
uh, to the set and also being responsible for the final design qualities like putting the silver onto the minifigs and also some of the other elements. Like I said, it's really, really colorful. Um, no point in getting into the actual build of it here from the manual, but the manual is great. And then I also wanna show off the box. As you can see here, it is recommended for ages 10 and up, but I really love the extra bit of silver and or chrome detailing here. The actual ideas logo is silvery and reflective. And the same thing goes for some of the water elements and the outline for Mickey Mouse here at the very top. So that's awesome. It's just got, it just adds a slightly more special uh, overall element to the actual box printing. And I don't know if they've done silvery printing like this on a Lego box before. If they have, let me know in the comment section below. So anyways, the presentation for this is absolutely top notch. All right, so we're gonna finish this thing off with a conclusion. Uh, I think the boat looks great. It feels really good. It's a very solid build. So I'm happy that the actual vehicle, the actual main bit of this set is a good build because I was really afraid that this was just gonna be kind of uh, just a sort of a wonky display centerpiece. And that was it, just like a big display for a couple of minifigs. That was what I was afraid this set was gonna be, but it's absolutely not the case. This is a fun little extra bit with the Mickey Mouse head. If you wanna display it, uh, I think with the minifigs separately would probably look best. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm really, really glad that um, it's a good ship. The functions work well. It's a super, super solid build as well. So I'm happy, I think the price point is fair. And uh, yeah, I would just like to know what you guys think about this in the comments section below. Once again, thanks a lot Lego for sending the set over to us to do a review and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Oh hey guys, just popping in very quick to let you know that we have a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some very high quality mocks built by some incredibly talented designers that we work with from all around the world. So anyways, if you wanna help support the channel, www.brickvault.toys, uh, you get some really cool stuff, definitely worth checking out. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.